Hi everyone, in this video we are going to look at the differences between grid, which we've done before, and flex, which is this option here. Okay, flex box or flex layouts. Flex and grid compete to do a lot of the same jobs, but they have some differences that I wanna jump into. And it's best to really understand flex in comparison with grid. So let's do it. All right, let's start with a grid. Okay, we've done it before, click A, I can, I've got a container here. I'm gonna drag my grid inside of it and we get this. The first thing I wanna mention is if I undo that, um, you'll notice that so grids over here, so it's columns, okay, but over here where I can change things, say so my container, I can actually just make the grid over here. It doesn't really matter whether you have something on the page like an empty div uh, block or a container and you convert it to a grid or if you drag the grid over, okay, because it's more of a thing applied to a div tag, we like to drag like lumps over. Okay, so we're gonna do it that way. But all of these things here in this layout is just a plain old div with like this container has some styling applied to that div that makes it centered. This one here splits it into percentages for columns. This one applies grid layout for us. Same with the section. They're just these div blocks with styling applied. Cool. So we love grids. Grids are really easy to add columns, add rows, remove them. The uh, spacing between these, I'm showing you these because in comparison, Flexbox is quite tricky to do some of these spacing things that Grid does really well. Let's add something to our Grid. Okay, so we're gonna add uh, some typography. The one thing we know about Grids though, if I now need to add something into one of these cells, okay, I'm gonna add an image as well. Okay, it moves on to the next one. You're like, oh, I want these to be together. But you remember, okay, all we need to do is put them in a wrapper and I'm clicking A on my keyboard loads for this. Okay, so I'm gonna go div block and inside that block is gonna be my image. Come along for the ride. Oh, there we go. It's tricky, it's tricky for all of us. Uh, so now that div block is inside of here. If I click it here and copy and paste it, okay, I can paste it again, paste it three times, and it's another perk for a grid. You can just keep going and it will keep adding enough cells. Okay, so that is a real big perk for grid. Now, the way the grid works is a lot of the overall structure is done with the parent. Okay, you see the parent of all of these things on the inside here, okay, I can do stuff to. I can say, actually, I'd like to align them to the center inside their cells. Awesome. Whereas, let's say the image that we dealt with in the last video, we'll say this button down here, if we wanna change it, we don't do it to its parent, we just do it to it. We say, you are now, you know, inline block or, um, you know, block. So we do it to the actual thing, whereas grid and flexbox, okay, we do it to the parent container, okay? But the parent have children, these little guys, and you can do individual things to these children, okay? So you can say they're all centered except for this rebel down the bottom here, okay? So if you click on the child of the parent, okay, you can say, hey, you're right aligned. Oh, grids are awesome. So grids are amazing for like really structured content like our thumbnails that we're going to be doing for our portfolio. A lot of repetitive stuff. Uh, it might be items in your store, it might be images or your portfolio. Really good, but very structured. It's all the samey. Flexbox in contrast, which we'll do in a bit, is good for irregular stuff. Stuff that's a bit strange needs to do some weird things. The other thing I wanna note is that, say this image, I want to move it to the side. Can you see this image is not a child of our grid? You're like, yes, he is, look, there's the grid. Okay, the child only goes down one level. So this div block here is the child. The things inside the child are the grandchildren. They don't do anything. There's no such thing as a grandchild. I just made that up. Okay, seemed right. <laughs> okay, but there is no like extra layouts for this. So that's one thing to note. And we will double back to there because we're kind of crossing over now, because you're like, but I want this to move on the right. You know, this is quite small, and I need it to be on the right. Do I put a grid inside of it and go right? That'd be ridiculous. You could do it, <laughs> but it's way easier da, 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 to use Flexbox. Okay, so I'm going to pick this div block, okay? Forget that it's part of all of the child. Let's just close that down. Ignore, it doesn't have to be. But let's just say, now I'm gonna be Flexbox. Okay, and Flexbox has a lot of these options, but I didn't have to create this like massive grid, okay? And I can say, actually, it's stacked vertically, which is awesome, back to where we were. It always goes to default to horizontal, which is never the way I want it, okay? And you can say, actually, I want all of it on the right. <gasps> Look at that. We've combined grid and flex. I'm waving my arms around, because that felt good. <laughs> it's tricky describing uh, grid versus Flexbox and where to use it. 
because often um, you will use a combination of the two, one or the other. Okay, it's never, it's, there's a lot of people like Mac or PC. You have to commit. I got a Mac in front of me because I like it. It works really well. It's fast, super expensive, but I like it. I can't also be on a PC, okay? I have to hate PCs. That's my, uh, you know, that's part of the contract you sign with a Mac. But with Flexbox and Grid, there's a lot of like, oh, I only use Flexbox or I only use Grid. There's a mixture you get to use, okay? There's just perks and there's just pros and cons for both. What I'll do now is I'm gonna clear my grid just to focus on flex a bit more because yeah, we don't wanna mix them up. Let's understand them separately and then in the next video when we do a few more examples, we'll mix them up again. So I've got this container and I'm going to add a div to it. Okay, so A, grab my div block. My div block will expand every, you know, to fill the space. I'm like, I don't want it to fill the space. I want it to be, I'm gonna give it a name. I'm gonna call this my card one. Okay, and I'm gonna say you are a size of 33%. Okay, 33% of the, you know, the container. You can kind of see him there. Why is he so tiny? You know. Okay, you know, because this needs a minimum height. I'm gonna put minimum height of 500, way too big, 300. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a background color so that we can see it. Okay, we're heading into Flexbox, trust me. Pick a color. Where's my oranges? Oh, it's been way too long picking a color. And it's a horrible color. <laughs> okay, so we've got a card. It's got a minimum height. It's 33% because it'd be great if I could go copy. Actually, let's put some stuff in it first. So I'm going to add a heading. So A, heading. I'm going to go A, add an image above my heading. I'm going to choose an image. I've got one that I've just loaded up from the earlier tutorials. You can grab anything you like. Okay, I just want to add this just so it looks nice. Okay, so I've got an image, I've got this. Let's try and rebuild that grid using Flexbox. And we'll just see some of the limitations. It's good to see it because, yeah, it'll help you know that why you'd use grid over Flexbox and when Flexbox is good. So I've got this card, I want one, two of them. And by default, okay, my card, which is a div tag, is set to block and we're like, all right, we'll just do inline. Okay, let's do inline block. And that works, paste, paste, paste another one. Okay, and that might be what you want. You could add some spacing around it, that would work. Now, why on earth would you use Flexbox? Because it has lots of cool extra features. I'm gonna click on it, but we have all this kind of alignment stuff. We can justify it, it's all very cool. Let's undo that though, because like grid, you do it to the parent, okay? So what I'm gonna do is turn it back to block, okay? And I don't wanna do it to these individual items. I wanna put it in a container or in a wrapper and then turn that into Flexbox and all of these guys become children, my, my cards. So I'm gonna add a div block. Could I do it to the container? I totally could, let's just do it to the container. So let's say container is Flexbox. Oh, look at that, horizontal, vertical. So we're back to where we were. Now though, we had, what do we have, 33%. Let's make it a bit smaller. So my card has a style that says you are 33%. Let's make it, I don't know, 25 for giggles. Okay, um, make it a little bit bigger, 30. I mean, you could, uh, there we go. Okay, but spacing, I can start doing percentages for spacing, okay, but it becomes tricky. So like before, we could use inline block and just say add a bit of spacing, but this is where Flexbox gets good. You can say, actually, the actually I want to change the spacing and I'm going to do it not to the child, but the parent. And I could say, hey, everybody here, I'd like you, see Justify, love this one, look, space between them, job done. Instead of trying to calculate enough spacing, the nice thing about it is that when you get down to this size, it's still spaced them out, okay? So it's nice and responsive. So Flexbox, if you're just gonna only do that, okay? It might be enough, okay? So these cards might be actually quite big. So you might say, actually, they are 33.3%. So they fill it all up, mostly, okay? And you could say, actually, though, I would like to go back to the parent and say, justify them all, but let's put a bit of a gap in there. Put in 10 pixels. <gasps> Flexbox wins! but we've got close to where grid was working. Okay, so this is where there's a lot of confusion, like which one should I use? If you just wanted one column of these little cards here, it wouldn't matter. Flexbox or grid, a lot of the stuff is the same, so it doesn't matter. And my advice though, remember, grid first, use Flexbox next if it doesn't work. Where does um, Flexbox end? Like Flexbox is a bit of a pain in the butt if you have to have four of these. If I go copy paste, I got four of them, it tries to squeeze them in one line, that's all right, I can say, parent, wrap, and this is where it all goes horribly wrong and I find it really tricky to get things to line up, okay? 
uh, paste another one in. We can work on this and get these to line up and we can mostly get them to be perfect. And the problem happens with pad. There's just, it's way easier to do grids. We saw how easy it was, dump all of these guys in a grid and you're away. But if it's just a, uh, you know, a, one line of them, flex grid, flex box and grids, same, same. Where would flex box be useful then over a grid here? It would be for uneven stuff, uh, would be for uneven cards or anything. Okay, we'll do kind of like a mosaic looking thing. So if you remember grids, good, as long as they're, they're quite structured. Okay, whereas this, if I go you are this small, okay, and you are even bigger, okay, and you are quite small, you have the smallest one, this heading here in this particular case is uh, tiny. This one is longer by a bit. Okay, we can with Flexbox, we put in, remember the card, we said you're 33%. Okay, just to give it some spacing. But because now we've added uh, Flexbox, I can say, remember optional, I'll click, get rid of that. And look at that. It will be the size it needs to be. Does it need to be small or big or tiny? Then I can decide with the parent, I can do things like, what does it have? What does it do? Did they all just stack up? Oh, that's nice. Grid can't do that. Kind of can. <laughs> okay, but you have to be very explicit. You have to say column A is 0.5 uh, fractions. Whereas this, you can let the content decide how big it is. So Flexbox, super flexible, a little bit more tricky to understand. Grids, super rigid, but great because a lot of stuff on websites are kind of step and repeat rigidness. Go mad with Flexbox container, we can say all the children are aligned in the center instead of the top. Line along the bottom, stretch to fit. Line along the top, uh, in the middle of their container, to the right. A lot of this stuff is in grid as well, but they're all kind of occupying their own cells. I'll split them apart, push the edges, don't wrap. Okay, so that's kind of some general overviews of grid versus Flexbox. Let's go into some more examples in the next video. We'll actually just make some stuff and see where we end up. That, my friend, is the end of the video, uh, but not the end of the course. Uh, the video you just watched, um, it is a small part of my larger course called Webflow Essentials. So if you enjoyed the video, my teaching style, there'll be a card up here you can click or a link in the description, okay? And come join me for the full course. Uh, like the video as well if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more stuff, but hopefully see you in the course. Bye.